Hi everyone, welcome to Tune In Chinese. Today we are making another episode of Ask Mistro about China. It's been a while since the last episode, and I have got a lot of positive feedbacks about the series. So I've decided it's time to make a part two of this video. I have collected a lot more questions from my students, and hopefully this video is helpful to you as well. Question number one: Why is China called China? You know what? That is a great question. So there's actually no solid history about why China is called China in English. And about 2,000 years ago, there's not much relationship between China and other countries. So there's no English name for China. If you still remember in our culture lesson, once we talked about terracotta warrior and the Emperor Qing. So Emperor Qing, who unified China, also established relationship with other country through jade trade at that time. So the word Qing, or similarly Xin, is introduced to many different languages at that time. So that is one of the theory. Question number two: Does the money in China look the same as U.S. money? That is another great question. You might think Chinese money look like this. However, modern Chinese money actually look like this and this. So there are paper monies and coins, just like many other countries. However, here's the fun facts: When I went back to China last year, I have not seen cash and credit card around. So how do people actually pay in China? I have found out that the payment system is actually kind of high tech in China. People scan a QR code from their phone, and they can input how much money they're going to transfer to the other party. Everywhere you go, you can buy a movie tickets, you can buy some street food, even a live street performer have a QR code next to them, so you can scan their code and donate money to them right from your phone. Question number three. What are some popular sports in China? I think the most popular and the national sport in China is ping pong, or you can call it table tennis. There are also a lot of popular local community sports. The most common ones are badminton. I love badminton, and basketball is big, and a lot of people play soccer. These are the major three sports、um, people play locally. But on TV, there's a lot of Western sports that are also very popular in China,、um, like tennis, Formula One, and、um, also NBA is very, very popular in China. There's also a Chinese version of NBA called CBA, which is a Chinese Basketball Association. So basketball is definitely a big sport in China. Another fun fact: so in China, soccer is actually called football because it makes sense. You use your foot to kick the ball. Question number four: How many people live in China? So before I filmed this one, I actually did some research. So according to the data from the World Bank, updated on April the eighth, twenty twenty, which is very recent, there are one point three nine million people in China, and there are three hundred twenty eight million people in the United States. So if you remember, on in our last episode, we talk about the size of China and the United States are very very similar. So you can imagine, with the much bigger population, some of the city in China are much more dense than here. Okay, question number five: What are the most famous invention in China? So China has history of almost five thousand years. So there are a lot of beautiful things that is invented and created by Chinese people. And to name a few, for example, there are amazing calligraphy arts and delicious food. There is also amazing architecture like the Forbidden City, the Great Wall of China. There's millions of great things that has been created in the history. 
But there are four great inventions that are worth to mention, in particular in the history of technology. So they are paper making, the compass, gunpowder, and printing. I don't want to go too much detail into the four great inventions, but I will attach a link down below if you would like to know more about the four great inventions of China. Next question. What part of China did you grow up in and do you like it there? So I grew up in a city called Shanghai and it locates in the east coast of China. Um, the location is kind of similar to where New York is in the United States. So it is one of the biggest and the busiest city in the world. The city has many names. To name a few, some people call it um, the Paris of the East and some people call it the nightless city because at night there are beautiful lights everywhere. It just feels like the night goes on. It is a melting pot of many different cultures in Shanghai. So people are very friendly in Shanghai and you can see lots of foreigners everywhere. There are 14 subway lines in Shanghai and lots of traffic, but you can basically go anywhere just by riding a metro. Shanghai hosts a lot of world-class events such as tennis, uh, Formula One, and also a home to a new Disney World. There are also a lot of local historical places for you to visit. Um, you can see what old Shanghai looks like from Yu Garden and also enjoy amazing soup dumplings from Nanshan. Uh, you can also go to places like the Shanghai Center or the Bond to experience both the new and the old culture. So I really, really deeply love my own city. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you next time. 再见!